So are you ready for this really, really boring video? And before I get started, I just want to say uh, my voice sounds really weird and that's because I'm sick. So we just have to deal with that today. So today I really want to talk about seven adulting skills that are pretty basic and I believe you should try to learn them and master them as soon as possible if you're just getting started on living by yourself, if you want to learn more about these skills before you live by yourself, or even if you have lived alone for years now and you still feel like you're still not on top of your game and you don't really know what you're doing, that's pretty normal and I think these seven skills will really really help you with that. Okay, so let's get started with skill number one, and that is everything concerning bookkeeping, accounting, and organizing paperwork. With adulting and living by yourself, owning a home or renting or anything of the sort comes great responsibility. And with great responsibility comes a lot of paperwork. And depending on the country that you live in, this may mean, you know, more paperwork or less paperwork because with some systems, a lot of things are already digital, but in a lot of countries, everything is still sent via mail. And I think it's really important for you to learn how to organize all of those files neatly, to have a binder in your home where everything is neatly organized by date, you know, everything you have to refer to in the future if you have to pay some bills, if you have to pay taxes, if you need to refer to a previous receipt or a previous contract. And for me, this is kind of some basic organization that has literally kind of saved my finances in the past because there's so much information that you gather over time as you become an adult uh, that having everything organized is really, really important. Another thing I feel is really important is everything concerning mending your own clothes, like learning how to sew a button, treating stains on your clothes and tableware, everything, uh, as well as really knowing how to do some proper laundry. And this may sound basic for a lot of people, but when I look to the past, I can't just imagine how much money I've saved because I know all of these things. Because you know, sending clothes to the laundromat can be quite expensive for a lot of people. When I think back about when I started living by myself, I remember I ended up shrinking so many of my shirts and my husband's shirts because I kind of knew laundry basics, but I didn't know <laughs> like the proper rules in terms of understanding how to wash and dry some clothes, usually like cotton and wool clothes properly, that I had to replace a few items that were perfectly fine just because I didn't know how these things worked properly. So I do believe this is something that is very easy and quick to learn. Everyone should do it. Uh, it's really, really helpful. It will save you a lot of money knowing how to do these things by yourself instead of asking other people to do these things. And yeah, it's kind of a basic adulting skill. Another skill that this one is a bit different from the others, but I still find it very, very important nowadays, more than any other time in my life, is to really learn touch typing. So a lot of people take notes in college and they kind of learn the basics of touch typing because of this, but there are a lot of people who prefer to handwrite their notes so they never really get used to typing on their computers for a long time. And usually when you enter the workforce, most of the things you do, if you're working a typical desk job, will require you to type for hours every single day. So learning how to touch type, which is literally being able to type on your computer without having to refer to the keyboard and looking at the keyboard visually, will make you a much faster typer. This will really help you in your work. You're going to become much faster typing producing written documents at work. It's something that just requires a bit of practice and it's not difficult at all. And there are actually websites that can help you with this and can help you develop your typing skills and can help you type a little bit faster. And it's definitely something you're going to use throughout your whole adulting experience, your adult life. So why not get started right now? Okay, skill number four and this one, I still really struggle with it. I, I'm not going to uh, lie to you. 
is everything in the world of negotiating, putting yourself out there and doing small talk. I am the absolute worst at this. I shouldn't, <laughs> but I am. <laughs> and for me, it's one of the big things that makes me feel like I'm kind of self blocking my way up a career or you know, embracing new opportunities because I'm so bad at just putting myself in situations where I have to present myself, to negotiate, to kind of put my foot on the floor and say no and really express my opinion in front of strangers. I do know that this comes with practice because I found out that in some points in my career, in my academic journey, there were kind of seasons where I felt I was better at this. So I do understand that this is all about practice and all about putting yourself in situations that help you develop these skills. But they're so important, like small talk is so important. When you are in a corporate environment, learning how to do small talk can literally save your relationships with the people who work with you. Because with a lot of people, you're not going to have a subject, uh, a topic of conversation. A lot of these people are not going to be your friends, but you still need to talk to them if you meet them in the hallway or in a meeting room. Uh, and I'm terrible terrible at this uh, and I'm really trying to become better at this skill so I really urge you to do the same because it may seem so irrelevant but it's so important in the long run. Skill number five, I think I've mentioned this previously in other skill-based videos uh, but I think it's really important for you to learn some really good cooking basics. So for me this does not mean that you're a master chef or that you can make like a five course meal for your friends. It's more about learning what kind of recipes are kind of basic, but they can really provide with nourishment or healthy for you. You don't have to rely as much on takeout and going to restaurants uh, and ordering food online because you know how to kind of feed yourself. This really helps you stay on a budget, not spend as much money on food, and it's also way healthier for you than just always relying on outsourcing everything related to cooking at, and your food. So it's also very easy to learn. There are so many websites right now that teach you cooking skills and cooking basics. There are so many YouTube videos and playlists all about learning how to work in a kitchen, how to distinguish your knives, distinguish your spices. And I really urge you to learn this, not so you can become an incredible chef, but at least you know how to feed yourself and your family. Skill number six, and this is more like a topic, a broad subject of knowledge and not necessarily a skill, but really learning more about politics. As you become an adult, your responsibility, your political responsibility will also become, you know, it's going to develop because now you are kind of the one who decides what's going to happen in your country, in your government. It doesn't really matter what kind of country or government it is. Of course, that it will always be more important for you to really understand what's going on from reliable sources, from comparing opinions, not only sticking to one newspaper or one news outlet and really understanding where this information is coming from, whether it's reliable or not. Learning more about the history of major political parties, for instance. Uh, where are they coming from? What is their ideology? Uh, and I think this is so important. A lot of people forget about this because we're so accustomed to this kind of world of just being in college and having grades and then we work a new job and we kind of forget these responsibilities that come with the role of becoming an adult and i think it's important because you know learning more about something that is actually deciding your life will also help you make more informed decisions and finally for skill number seven and this is something i'm really noticing since i moved to this house is learning more about home repairs and improvement, like the basic stuff. Uh, and I'm also not really good at this, but my husband kind of is. Uh, and I feel like this is something that really made us save a lot of money. Instead of having to outsource everything, we at least know how to do the basic stuff. We know how to improve our home a little bit. We know how to do some repairs instead of always having to call someone to come over and do that for us. Um, you spend a lot of money 
outsourcing these kinds of services. In some countries, they are more expensive than other countries, of course, but they're always kind of a current expense when you own a home. Or, you know, in some cases, even if you rent it, there are things you have to repair and that money comes from your own wallet. And yeah, this is also very simple to learn. There are so many videos on the internet websites. You can go to Reddit, for instance, where a lot of people kind of share how they do these kind of things uh, from a more newbie perspective. And yeah, it's something that is definitely very, very simple to learn and it's very useful and it will save you a lot of money. And another very adult thing to do is kind of learn how to manage everything going on in your home, in your career, in your life. And for that, you need a very powerful system that will help you develop a workspace that is, you know, easy to share, easy to add on to and to replace things and to move things around. And for that, I really, really love Notion who's sponsoring today's video. If you're looking for the perfect software to help you through your slumps and organizing your entire life, I really recommend Notion because it can help you with that and so much more. Notion can be used individually or to collaborate with other people. You can organize anything in your life with all of its templates and tools, including habit trackers, journaling pages. You can also keep track of personal projects, work schedules, birthdays, networking events, and so much more. You can use and explore Notion anytime you want and for as long as you like because their personal plan is literally free with absolutely no restrictions. It's the best investment you can make and it doesn't cost a cent. So to start using Notion today and get your free account, you can go to the link in the description box or you can click the button that's on the screen right now. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!